Hey guys, Scott here, bringing you the latest news from the Albanese government. Lots happening in the property industry. The Australian Labor Party held their national cabinet meeting and there's some exciting developments that you do need to know about. So they just offered a whopping 3.5 billion to state and local councils to fast track the construction of 1.2 million homes over the next five years. So let's dive into the details. Now about 3 billion will be distributed as performance bonuses to encourage states to speed up land release. The problem is that the land's not getting released fast enough because state governments don't have enough money to build all the amenities to release the land. Now the industry actually welcomed the 1.2 million home target, seeing it as an improvement from the 1 million homes agreed upon by the National Cabinet last year. The problem is since that 1 million last year to now, nothing's being built and we don't think that the 1.2 million is realistic either. So the opposition, they were not impressed and they actually slammed the housing deal as a bit comical. Even the Greens expressed their disappointment. But here's an interesting fact for you. As a nation, we have never built more than 1.1 million homes in a five year period. So the question is, will this incentive be enough to bridge the supply gap? The answer is unfortunately, no, it is not. We're grossly undersupplied and the future doesn't appear promising or entirely realistic. Less than two months ago, the government granted the states a one-off two billion grant to immediately build or refurbish social and affordable housing. And now with the latest national cabinet deal, the number of well-located homes to be built has been increased from 1 million to 1.2 million over the next five years. So now let's shift our focus to the apartment market. According to Mervac CEO Campbell Hannon, apartment supply is currently about 50% below where it was five years ago. It's not looking good. However, the recognition of the problem during the recent meeting is a positive sign. Due to rising construction costs and funding challenges, it's projected that less than 15,000 apartments will be completed in 2025, while our annual immigration stands at a staggering 400,000 to possibly up to 600,000. Now let's zoom out and take a look at the bigger picture. Home listings are increasing at a faster pace than buyers can keep up with. This means tougher competition for vendors and more options for buyers during the spring season. Data from CoreLogic confirms this. Now I know some of you are wondering about renters. As expected, the idea of freezing or capping rents was swiftly dismissed by the leaders. They fear that such market interventions could worsen the rental crisis by driving away investors or causing sudden spikes in rents. Interestingly, a recent survey by PCA showed that even renters were mostly against the cap as it could potentially force many into home ownership or even homelessness. It seems like the National Cabinet is is making an effort to address the housing crisis and show that government can work together. Stay tuned for more updates on the ever evolving property market. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss any news. Thanks for tuning in and I'll catch you next time.